sugar and spice today we are going to look at a very delicious recipe chocolate walnut fudge these choco walnut fudge are very easy to make but they are super tasty so let's start cooking to a pan i am going to add 2 tablespoons of butter and at the same time i am also going to add my 350 grams of chopped chocolates now this chocolate is dark chocolate and i'm going to keep stirring this just make sure that it does not catch at the bottom and i'm also going to add my 400 grams of condensed milk since the chocolate i'm using is dark chocolate and it is bittersweet the sweetness from the condensed milk is going to more than substantiate for the richness of the chocolate now i need to keep stirring continuously till my chocolate is all melted even as my chocolate is melting i'm going to add a tablespoon of good quality cocoa powder what the cocoa powder does is it actually enhances the chocolatey flavor and taste of the fudge now as i keep stirring you can see that my chocolate is almost melted my sauce pan is hot so i don't have to spend much time stirring but i'm going to cook my fudge with the heat that is already there in this liquid so i'm going to switch off and also add vanilla essence for that extra punch stir it well just be sure that there are no chocolate bits which is still not melted you can see that within no time the fudge will start to thicken it's a super easy sweet see that the chocolate is all melted i have removed it from the pan from the stove and even as it is getting a bit hard i'm going to add my walnuts now the nuts are all up to you the choice is yours you can add mixed nuts or you can just let your uh, fudge be just a plain chocolate fudge or you could add almonds or dried fruits all that is left to you so i've given it a final stir and now I'm going to pour this into a flat dish where I've already lined it. You can see that I've already lined it with butter paper. Just pour down this gooey chocolate which is so rich. and it will take anywhere between 4 to 5 hours to set I'm just making sure that it's spread clearly properly it's level since it's a gold it's a glass bowl that I've taken I cannot tap it I'm just using the spatula to even out and now I'm going to let it rest in the refrigerator for at least four to five hours it has taken me almost four and a half hours for it to settle you can see that it is quite firm to my touch so all i'm going to do is just pull it out it comes up so easily i'm going to move this away and you can see how easily this peels off The fudge, the 
paper just comes off and now all is that is left for us is to just make squares of this fudge it's so smooth my knife just slides through this and you can make squares the size the way you want it just cut them and I just want to show you exactly how it looks you can just see how firm it is and how beautifully it has turned out so if you like this recipe don't forget to give us a like share and subscribe to sugar and spice bye